Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here on my YouTube channel and in this video, I'm so excited na i-share sa'yo yung topic na to sa ating training series about marketing. So kaya naman, if you are first time here on my YouTube channel, wag mong kalimutan na i-like yung video na to at i-click mo na rin yung subscribe button, bell notification so you will get notified sa mga bago kong videos. And ano itong message na to? Ibig sabihin, you need to be a very clear with your call to action if you are marketing your product, your offer, or your business online. Hindi mo sasabihin sa online, dun sa online website mo, na please don't hesitate to call us. Once na ginamit mo yung call to action na yon, hindi siya action-based call to action at mapapansin mo dun, don't hesitate. Hindi siya very clear. And mamaya pag-uusapan din natin paano ka magiging very clear sa call to action mo, ano yung tamang messaging sa marketing mo, at marami pa. For example, meron kang offer sa internet at meron kang product, bigyan mo siya ng multiple call to action. Okay? Pwede siyang magbayad through online, pwede rin siyang bumili ng product mo via phone, tatawag mo na siya, or pwede rin naman via email. So, pero, you need to be uh, very clear sa call to action. And ang kaganda lang kapag meron kang multiple ways para mabili yung products mo is, malalaman mo kung saan sila comfortable. Hindi ka mag-iisip na ito lang yung kailangan niyang gawin para mabili yung produkto mo. Most businesses today is, hindi sila very clear kung ano yung call to action nila. Mapapansin mo yan sa media or sa internet, sa mga ads na nakikita mo. And kung iyon yung gagawin mo, magiging similar ka lang sa kanila. And daki lang para maging very clear ka dun sa call to action mo is you need to focus on a problems and solution dun market mo. Dun ka dapat mag-focus. Hindi mo kailangan mag-focus sa company business mo, company business logo mo, company business name mo. Hindi naman importante yun sa mga tao. Ang importante is yung product mo ba, yung business mo ba, yung services mo ba is makakapag-solve ng problems na meron sila. From a customer perspective, there's are no compelling reason para bumili sila sa'yo. And the most problem ng mga businesses ngayon or nagsisimula na startup, services man yan, offer man yan, or product is nagbe-base sila dun sa kanilang mga competitor. Chine-check nila yung pricing, chine-check nila yung services, yung product, and then kinokopya nila. Kung minsan, nagpapataasan sila sa price, at kadalasan naman is nagpapababaan sa price. So, huwag mong gawin yun. Kailangan maging different ka sa kanila. Hindi mo kailangan mag-focus dun sa competitor mo. Instead, mag-focus ka dapat dun sa business mo. Mag-focus ka dapat kung ano yung message na gusto mong iparating. You need to be a uh, different. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to model what's worth. It's okay to model yung mga product na pwede mo ring i-innovate sa business mo. Walang problema doon. But, ang sabi ko nga, you need to be a uh, different. So, number one tip, pag-usapan natin para malaman mo kung ano yung message mo sa market, message mo dun sa mga prospects mo. Number one is, you need to develop your USP or yung unique selling proposition. Nakapunta ka na ba sa 7-Eleven and naisip mo na bumili ng kape? Okay? So, meron dun sa 7-Eleven. I think, yung copy dun sa 7-Eleven, nagre-range lang yan ng less than 50 pesos. Minsan may 25 pesos and kumpleto na. Meron ng tubig, meron ng kape, tapos sa vending machine nila. And ito yung nangyayari. There's a lot of people and businesses that are stuck in this USP or yung unique selling proposition. Sasabihin nila, I sell copy, there's nothing unique on selling a copy. And kung mapapansin mo yung mga biggest na copy businesses dito sa Pilipinas, Especially yung Starbucks, Copy Project, at marami pa. And makikita mo sa unique selling proposition nila, meron silang kakaiba dun sa kanilang, dun sa kanilang marketing. And also, yung brand nila dahil kilala na. Pero pag titingnan mo sila, magkakaiba sila. They are different sa kanilang marketing message sa market. The entire goal ng USP is to answer these questions. Why should I buy from you rather from your nearest competitor? Another good test na pwede mong gawin if you're testing out your message on the market, if you have a business, try to remove your business name. Try to remove your business logo. Huwag kang mag-focus doon. Instead, mag-focus ka doon doon sa message mo. Doon sa problems na gusto mong isolve sa market. The most common na ginagawa ng mga businesses, marketer ngayon, 
dun sa pag-develop ng kanilang unique selling proposition is nakapokus sila dun sa word na quality and great service. Mapapansin mo yan sa mga businesses, nakalagay dun is quality and great service. There are two things wrong with that. Quality and great service are expectation. They are just part of good business practices, not something unique. People only find out about your quality and great service after they bought. Kapag nasubukan na nila yung produkto mo, kapag ginagamit na nila yung produkto mo. A good USP or yung unique selling proposition is to attract prospects before buying from you or made a purchase decision. So, kailangan ito, tanongin mo sa sarili mo. Para ma-develop mo yung USP, number one questions is tanongin mo to sa sarili mo or sa business mo. Why should they buy? Number two, why should they buy from me? Number two tips na isi-share ko sa'yo is you need to get the mind of your prospect. Getting the mind of your prospects. So, one of the great example na gusto kong ipakita sa'yo is itong nakikita mo sa screen. Getting into the mind of your prospects. Makikita mo, example natin is a Apple. So, every time na naglo-launch si Apple ng kanyang product or ng kanyang mga bagong innovation, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, iPhone 11, yung makikita mo yung tao kung gano'n sila ka-hunger dun sa product na yun. Nagkakagulo sila. Pinag-uusapan, nagbabiral sa internet dahil yung iba nga talagang nagluloan pa para lang mabili yung produkto na yun. Ganun ka-importante yung message mo online. If you confuse your prospect, your potential customer, tatlo lang ang pwedeng mangyari. Number one, buy from you. Number two, buy from your competitors. And number three is do nothing. Sabi ko nga kanina, kailangan mong mag-focus dun sa problems na gusto mong isolve sa market. And one of the biggest key ni Apple is talagang sinob niya yung multiple problems. And iPhone is a very expensive phone. And makikita mo naman yung quality ng iPhone and yung apps, yung synchronization sa multiple products. If you have a MacBook, iMac, iPad, AirPods, uh, Apple Watch. Kung meron kang Apple device, gumagamit ka ng Apple device, they can easily synchronize yung kanyang devices. Kung iniisip mo na yung competitor mo is your biggest problems, nagkakamali ka doon. Sabi ko nga kanina, you need to be different. And hindi mo naman kailangan maging unique kung ano yung binebenta mo or kung ano yung niche mo sa market mo, hindi mo kailangan maging unique. Unique is dangerous. Okay? Sabi ko, it's okay to model what's work, model what's working, it's okay to model kung ano yung patok ngayon. Pero, hindi mo kailangan exactly nagayahin yon and kailangan mo lang gawin is you need to be different sa message mo at sa product mo. When Apple launched a legendary music player. Ako, hindi ko nasubukan to. Hindi, ko na, hindi ako nagkaroon ng ganito before. Pero, and yung iPad ni launch yan, talagang pumato ka agad. Okay? Yun yung kauna-unahan nilang devices na music devices. And kung mapapansin mo sa competitor ni Apple dun sa kanyang iPad, uh, may mga competitor siya na same lang ng specs, same lahat at makakapakinig ka ng music. And pagdating sa capacity ng storage ng iPad is 5GB. So, ibig sabihin, marami ka songs na may lalagay doon. But instead, ang ginawa ni Apple sa kanyang marketing message is hindi niya sinabi yung features niya. Hindi siya nag-focus doon. Ang marketing message ni Apple sa kanyang product na yon sa iPad, ang sabi niya doon is 1,000 songs in your pocket. Anyone can instantly understand and the benefits it will offer. Right? So, one of the great options pa na pwede mong gawin to develop your unique selling proposition, your message to the market is hindi mo kailangan pababain yung price mo, hindi mo kailangan maging cheap sa market. So, you need to create a bonuses, you need to add a value, pataasin mo yung value dun sa offer or sa business na minamarket mo. So, dun ka mag-focus. And then, yung value na kailangan ibigay mo is kailangan nakapag-solve din ng problems and nakapokus din sa kanila at hindi sa business mo, hindi sa iyo. Focus lagi sa kanila. Good marketing is always focus on customer problems and solution. Right, so before we end this topic, gusto ko lang i-share sa iyo yung formula na to na pwede mong gamitin sa pagmamarket mo ng business mo, ng services mo or ng product mo sa internet. Right, so this is the formula. You know problem 
Well, what we do is solution, in fact, is proof. As an example, pwede natin gamitin is insurance sales. You know how most people really review their insurance coverage when their circumstances change. Well, what I do is to help people have peace of mind by making sure their insurance coverage always match their current circumstances. In fact, just last week, a client of mine was robbed and was able to recover a full cost of the items he'd lost because his insurance coverage was up Today. Nakita mo yung formula na ginamit natin? You know, problem. Well, what we do is solution. In fact, is proof. Magagamit mo yung formula na to sa marketing message mo. Okay? So kahit nasa ang industry ka pa, this is a proven formula na pwede mong gamitin. Okay? So I hope na marami kang natutunan dito sa ating video number 3 in our marketing training series. And kung marami kang natutunan dito sa ating training, let me know on the comment below. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe dito sa YouTube channel ko, please consider to subscribe. So once again, this is Jay. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Take care and God bless.